Hi there, this is Kathy, and it is, of course, snowing again. I can't believe that it's snowing. I thought that Jeff might be home from, from school because they predicted that it was go going to snow again today, even though I didn't believe it. Every time I hear it, I just think, no way. We're not going to get more snow. This is the most snow we've had, apparently, in 100 years, so enjoy it. It, it better not be here again um, in another 100 years because I'll be gone by then. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And um, anyway, I, I uh, it's snowing a lot. I didn't think it was going to, okay? Because we have so much snow out there. You can see all my giant icicles. And I keep trying to take pictures of the snow because I can't believe how much of it is coming down. There's like, uh, the flakes aren't very big. So, they, so whenever ever I take a video or a picture, I don't think you guys are seeing the snow because it's tiny, but it's lots and it's sticking and it's, uh, we have, it's so high. Ah, uh, I couldn't, can't believe it. I went out and filled my bird feeders this morning and I broke one cause I had to get the snow off and it was, the lid was, the ice was frozen. You know, the lid was, for, hi there, Linda. <laughs> I'm whining about my, my snow. I wonder what you guys have there. Yeah. Do you have any snow in, in Virginia? Um, windy. Um, okay. But we get wind. I wonder if you guys get wind like us. Maybe. Yeah. I'm ready for the spring. Thank you for reminding me that it is coming. In fact, next week, um, I've got the Easter bunny class on Friday and Saturday. And I know it's a little early, but I wanted to squeeze in into, um, March. I wanted to rain and soggy. Okay. But I would like that right now. <laughs> um, so that sounds good. But anyway, my um, my Easter Bunny class I know sounds like it's coming early, but I needed to squeeze in a uh, another. I wanted to get um, a Mother's Day card into the next two classes, so um, that is why I hate snow too. I didn't used to. To this winter, I really hate it. I don't like it, but I've never really hated it before. Um, anyway, this year I think a lot of us are learning to hate snow, and I. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to let that go back to the class in a minute, but I'm going to swing down because the new sting, the new, the new, <laughs> the new cling stamps, they are very, very clingy. And some of the people are getting this stamp set thinking it's not going to be that big a deal. And then realizing, you know what, I should not have just tried to put that label on without looking at some kind of instruction for it because they are ridiculously expensive. It's good. It's a good thing they're sticky because I am not having any trouble with them falling off. And I'm very happy about that. But you do have to be careful putting your stickers on. And I can't say that often enough because it sounds so basic. Just putting a sticker on something. Of course I know how to do that, right? Well, well, you don't. I didn't, and I had to look for help. But even when I watched Stampin' Up's video about how to do it, I didn't. Yeah, anyway, it was helpful, but I'm going to try to run through it again one more time. So I'm putting my glasses on because I'm going to swing the camera down, and then, um, uh, and hopefully, I won't discombobulate the settings of the, um, oh, you know, horizontal to vertical settings because when I swing my camera, camera around it doesn't always like like that I'm doing that and um, anyway I, I need to pause here just for a second to make sure that I can see what's going on on this <laughs> what I've got down here while I'm pausing you can look at my my link that I have I've got a link up there for um, the squareup.com store where I have all of my cards and all of my classes anything that you would ever want to ever take advantage of is listed there and you can click on it it, it looks dark down there but I think this is as good as it's going to get maybe if I tilt it and bring it down a little bit it'll help I am not really sure but we'll we'll give that a try and then the other thing um, is that I've got my classes listed here. So if you want to come to a um, 10 o'clock class on Friday or Saturday, I would love to have you. So um, go ahead and plan on doing that. So I think this is as bright as it's going to get, although it seems awfully, awfully dark. I wonder if my, my um, little light is not quite there or 
my camera, maybe I have my camera on a different setting or something. I don't know, but this is as good as it's going to get. Um, so I'm going to just use this Hoppy, So Hoppy Together. This is a celebration stamp set. When you get it, this is what it's going to look like. It has all of your stamps in there. Just punch those all out. And I'm not going to punch all of them out. I'm just going to do a couple because I just, just kind of want to run through what to do. You're going to need uh, your rubber. Some people use their rubber for other things too after they're finished. Now, to put the cling stamps on, I found the smallest ones are the hardest ones to position accurately. And one like this, actually I should do it because... If it's got a very long, skinny piece, that can be really hard to get that positioned well also. So you're gonna take off your backing for all of those once you've gotten them punched out. And again, I would, I would normally just punch them all out, but um, for time's sake, I won't show you doing all of these. But and for those of you who have done this a bunch of times, I'm sorry, but I, you know how frustrating it is the first time you went to do it. I know for me, I, uh, it, it is, it was, and it still is somewhat. So then you find the stamp that, I'm going to move these, because once I get my stamp uncovered, that stickiness is super, super sticky. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to find the side that has a divider so you can peel it up. So this is not the side I want. I'm going to flip it over because there's a little tab, a dividing tab right here so that I know this is how I'm going. I'm going to want to peel this part up. Okay, so wherever that divider is shows you where you're going to peel Peel that up and now I'm gonna lay this down right here in my case and I am gonna take my um, my my stamp that you know I punched out of the the backing and I'm gonna position it right where I want it so this way I can put it perfectly around the image now stampin up this is what stampin ups Actually, you know what, I'm going to peel, this is very slidey and sticky and it makes it, it actually makes it hard to, to position my stamp on there and not have it slide around. So I am going to have to punch out all the rest of these because that's going to make it difficult if I don't. So I don't want it to be slidey, I want it to stick where I stick it. If I, if I, oops, this way. If I put it on here and it's still sliding, that's one of the things I did as I was, I was letting it slide. Now you can kind of pick it up and position it because sometimes you st when you stretch it around, you're getting it off of the um, off of that border. You're stretching because there's nothing. It's just rubber. It can kind of move, and I don't. I want it to be exactly on the edge, but I don't want it to be on the actual sticker. Okay, like I kind of got it on that sticker there, but that's okay, because I got it off. And, see, I got it on the sticker. Now, if I pull it up and it's on the sticker, I gotta be careful, because I don't want, I don't want to pull up that sticker at all. So I think I've got it positioned pretty well. So now I can just lay my stamp, but you want to lay it straight down. You don't want to have it going to the side at all. And then because there's this skinny piece here, it can, you know, it can be a little bit tricky, but just lay it right there. So it's going to go straight down and it should, once you get it exactly in the right spot, it is going to go straight down. I'm going to take my hand and just make it go down straight because I do not want it tipping around at all. Okay, so now I've got it all in there and I'm going to peel up the whole thing. It all comes up and the sticker is exactly, well, almost exactly. I see I got a little there on the edge, but not too bad. It's, a, it's, it's pretty much exact. Now, you're going to have, at times, little layovers, but for the most part, that's exactly in position. Now, this little teeny tiny one's the one that's going to be super hard to do. 
So let's find that guy. This is the, what are these? Are these, um, boy, I can't even see. Oh, it's the word. It's the little word hay on this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna find the little dividing. It's the little tiny one. So there's just this little dividing space. I'm gonna undo that. I don't wanna peel up that sticker. I just want the backing off. And then I'm gonna lay it like this. And then find the word, that's where it is. And just lay it on there. And then position it the way I want it because I want it to be at the edge of all of that. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna lay it so it's gonna go straight down and now, now that it's straight down there, okay, it's over just a teeny, but not much. That's pretty good. So anyhow, I'm not gonna do any more of those. The other thing I found that's really helpful, um, I saved my rubber, you know, I'm saving it so I can stick my stamps back in it like this, and then it just kind of keeps them from, oops, let me turn it around. And it keeps them from flopping all over the place. And actually, after I was all done put assembling them, I um, I stuck my plastic back on here because if I can get it to go, there we go. That way, um, it just kind of helps keep my my stickiness of those other st stamps. I mean, the stickers, the the. Stickers don't stick to the rubber so much. So I actually just wanna lay that in there, okay? So this will keep my stamps from flopping around because what's happening is these stamps are so sticky, they're sticking to the case and they stick to all kinds of stuff. So save this too. And then after you get all your stamps all done, you can just lay that on there and then that will keep your stick your stamps from sticking to this this case and just getting all over the place. And since I haven't finished yet, I'm going to just throw in these extra pieces on the side, I guess, so they'll fit in. Hopefully they can. And then I will finish doing that later for that little stamp set. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that out of the way and throw away my trash. So if you have any questions, I would love to help you anytime. Make sure that you message me. On the side of the Facebook page, I actually have a, an email tab. If you click that, then you can sign up for my newsletter, which I send out once a week. And tomorrow, I am for anybody who shares this video, please share. I will enter you in a drawing. And for last, actually last two weeks, because I don't think I even did it last week, I am gonna take, I'm gonna draw um, tomorrow. I will do it tomorrow because I'm still trying to find a time that I can actually remember to draw. And then you, I get to, I will send you a little goodie. Now I'm gonna do this little card today. This is from um, the Sweet, or not Sweet Wishes, it's from the Hello Cupcake stamp set. The, again, Celebration has all this stuff going. This is a Celebration. You spend $50 in the store, you get to get this stamp set free. It's very cute. You have only until the end of March to do it, though. So um, go ahead and head on over there so that you can get your, um, your, stamp, your stamp set. I'm peeking at my camera because I'm Still thinking I should be able to make it lighter. I think I've got it somehow on a dark setting, <laughs> like super dark, because it's not dark in here. I don't know why it's so dark right right there on my, um, my, my board. I don't know, but anyway, so this is the card I'm doing. So anyhow, the background is actually, a, I did it originally with Gingham Gala, the, the DSP, and then it went on back order and I couldn't get it anymore. And so I, but I had a class coming up. So I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna have to make my own. And I actually kind of liked what I came up with. Cause I, and it's not a new idea. Other people have done it for like, you know, a whole, whole, whole lot of times. But um, with this card, it looked really cute to do it and then put these yellow and pink stripes on. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, so to do, but to do the um, big background stamp, I would always recommend getting out your, um, 
your stamp apparatus and just using it because it does make it so much easier to um, you, you know to to stamp your your images over and over again if you need to and with those background stamps sometimes you do really need to now the um, Buffalo check is a background stamp. It's pretty big. It's already on its rubber backing. This is not a super clingy one. I wish I'd bought this after they'd come out with their super cling, but I didn't. And, um, but I just put some, um, rub some repositional glue on it and it's working fine. So I need my magnets out. Don't let those touch because that kind of messes them up. And then I'm going to just do it in the middle because I don't want to mess. The hinge always kind of messes things up. And I was watching one of Stampin' Up's videos and I noticed that they li they used this paper. You can buy the little pad of paper and then they use the lines. And actually, if I wanted to, if I thought that it was possible that I might, or if I had a class and a bunch of people were gonna do it and I didn't wanna be moving that stamp, you, I think I would even just mark the coordinates of my card and then I would know exactly where to position my card every time. You wouldn't have to stick it in the corner like they've been telling us to do. You can kind of put it out here on the edge and it's going to, um, Oops, I forgot to put my magnet down and I <laughs> once this hits that card stock, it's gonna stick to it unless I get good. I got the magnet in there. Whew, that was close. I could have just repositioned it again, but I didn't really want to go to all of that trouble. So I am gonna use lemon lime twist today on this. When you're gonna stamp your stamp apparatus, make sure you put some kind of support under that plastic plate because you don't want to break your brand new stamp apparatus plate you can get replacements if you want but who wants to get a replacement and I'm gonna ink it up pretty good but I'm really not worried about it because I'm going to get numerous tries with this I when I did it before I needed to um, stamp it a couple of times to get the coverage I wanted. That looks really good, but you can see there's these little spotty lines that I don't really want. So I'm gonna, and I don't mind if the darker, you know, if it gets to be a little darker green, that's why I'm using this lemon lime, is it's lighter. It's about the same um, shade of a granny apple green, but it's, it's just, um, it's a lighter hue. I'm still like right in the middle. I'm, I think I am just not pressing hard enough there in the middle. So I'm gonna get up and put some real pressure on that. It's darker, but still a little light, but that's okay. I'm gonna live with it because that actually is gonna be covered by my whole card anyway. That is the background. So I need to do one more sheet of this. And then that sheet I'm going to trim. Okay, so we'll stick those there. All right, let's see here. Every time I look out the window, all I see are just more and more snowflakes and Jeff and I were talking about how whether you know we were not sure if there was going to be school today and I was thinking if there's not school I'm gonna do my live video anyway whether you're home or not because um, you know this is getting ridiculous I can't believe how many days they've had off of school already and it looks like that is I'm going to just keep going because they predicted snow until March 3, I think, or maybe even later. I don't know, which I'm just thinking, come on, our regular, um, more westerly, southwest, southwesterly winds that bring warmer weather up here are surely going to shift and blow this awful, awful cold, cold wind away but um 
We'll see, because it sure doesn't look, when I look out there right now, it does not look like those, that's going to happen. It looks like we are just in for a super long winter <laughs> that's going and going and going. And we have friends who are starting um, track at school, um, right? Well, you probably, some of you probably have students. You have kids that are um, supposed to start um, their track and field stuff today. And wow, they're going to be in the gym. And it looks like they're going to be in the gym for a while. So I've lost my background case. I'm not sure what I did with it because I, I don't see it, and I kind of hate to just lay this over here. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is the problem with having a too small workspace is that I, I cannot, um, cannot keep track of all of my belongings. Okay, now that's all I'm going to use the Stamparatus for. So we'll get that out of the way, and that'll help a great deal as far as... Um, how I have everything positioned in here. And the, when you get your Stamparatus, it comes with this pad um, for your photopolymer stamp, stamps. They um, don't have that foam backing, so you need that. All right, now let's see what we're doing. Okay. All right, so here is my little um, thin, the rectangular, stitched rectangular thinlet. I'm gonna use that lemon lime uh, uh, green, green card stock, lemon lime twist green card stock for that. But first of all, I want to take the one that I just stamped that I like the best. This one's better than this one. So this is gonna be on the background and we're, we're going to do the lines on this, and I think, I think I used my Tombows. I should probably get out the 30 Flamingo one, but I think I actually used my Tombows for this. Let me check here really quick. Yes, I think I did. I actually kind of prefer this one. It has a little bit of a this is 823. I like that one. And then I also, I really do not like Stampin' Up's yellow markers right now. They're, they have a good blending pen. Uh, that's the Daffodil Delight one, but I, this one's nice and bright yellow. So this is 055. That's what I'm going to be using for these lines. And um, I'm going to do the pink ones down. Now I used a fat, I used, I'm just using this clear ruler and it doesn't have to be perfect um you know it's it's supposed to be kind of fabricy looking and you know how fabric always moves when you're doing things and it's sort of fluidy it's not like cards so it doesn't matter if my line's not perfectly straight and so I use the fat tip going down and then I'm going to use the skinny tip going across just where the uh plaid is thinner and then this will give me that nice matching color for the pink that's on this card I really like the pink on that cupcake you know pink frosting I don't know about you are you a frosting fiend I love frosting but it has to be good frosting it can't be that um, just plain old uh, short you know shortening type frosting I don't like that so I'm gonna put the yellow across just by this narrow pink and I'm gonna use the fat and um, I like buttercream frosting how about you but I also really prefer if I can get it um, whipped cream frosting and we have a friend who um, used to professionally bake cakes and, uh, oh man, she said that whipped cream frosting you buy as a, like in a pouch, you know, at those food places. And I was, oh my goodness, I'm glad I don't know where it is or how and all that because I'd probably be eating a lot more cake. I'm, for an experiment, I'm going to just see if I like that. I actually do. I did not do that on the other card, but, um, 
I am going going to on this one because I was when I got that card finished I thought oh maybe a little extra yellow line on there would have been nice and I, I think it is I like that so we're gonna have an extra yellow line so isn't that pretty I hate to cover it all up but I'm going to be covering it most of it with my 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 flirty flamingo um, we're gonna cut this base into my card size which is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half so let's let's I flubbed my corner here so let's get that off first of all before I do any other measurements on this and then we'll see if I can get five and a half actually I'm gonna end up with five and a quarter this way which is fine um, I'm going to end up just making everything a little smaller since I did that and um, this is the beauty about doing cards you get to adjust and nobody knows nobody cares but I do need this to be four and a quarter so let's let's take off that edge over there for four and a quarter there oh four and a quarter yeah that's correct and I am not going to actually attach this to a base card right now I'm just gonna do the front because I'm afraid this is going to be way too long if I do that oh maybe maybe I'll oh I don't know well I'll think about it I'm thinking about it what am I going to do but because um, I think I have plenty of pink oh shoot we'll just go ahead and we'll stick it on the back We'll just stick it on this. I did do a white base card. Um, and I, I really do want to do a white one. So I'm going to hop up here and see if I can grab a sheet of white cardstock that I've already got cut right waiting ready to go and then I'm going to put this on here uh, I'm going to have to trim it so you can see how how far I've got to trim that's this card actually is probably bigger I don't know but um, it doesn't really matter okay so I'm just using, oh, my rubber cement came out as a big glob. I just filled my, <laughs> I just filled it. So it's like super filled. And, and so this is going to be messy when I fill them too. Because I've got those big giant cans that I fill my rubber cement with. And um, in which I use only because I got so much of it free from, from my kindergarten class that I was working in. Um, 15 years ago although it wasn't that long ago that they gave me all the rubber cement but I'm sure some mandate came down that we weren't allowed to have that in the building anymore I don't know the, you know they come up with all kinds of crazy it's not like we we didn't let the kids use the rubber cement okay they didn't use it but we used it for all kinds of projects and um, <laughs> then they got rid of it and I, they knew I made lots of cards. So they said, do you want to take it? And I was happy to take it. It probably would have ended up in some landfill if I hadn't. So I have been happy to use it. I actually have um, probably got two cans left of that rubber cement. I have used it and used it and used it. When I dumped it into these, or I have two of those and and uh, filled them earlier. Um, I'm glad I had this on my desk because of course I spilled it all over the place and all that. So I want to put my fl flirty flamingo on here. Um, and oh, you know what I just did? I just cut the wrong... <laughs> I wanted this one to be there and oh my goodness what a what a ding dong I am just all over the place so I am going to have to put lines on this one now because I need lines on the one that's actually going to be showing more so um, I'm terribly sorry you're gonna have to watch me drawing my lines but I guess the good thing uh, the good news about that is that I'm gonna give my yellow just a tiny bit more room 
because I really did like that yellow going down there. This is going to make a great birthday card. I um, send a lot of birthday cards and um, I shouldn't have used pink. I'll have to do another one with um, green and just yellow or something because it actually would be something I could send a boy if, uh, you know, a little boy maybe, but um, not with pink in it, but I love pink and pink frosting is good. Yellow frosting is good too though, so I can, I can do it with yellow frosting. So now we'll put my yellow lines on this as well. As you can see, I'm not doing it perfect. Some of those are a little bit little bit off but it looks good oh I did that right in the middle I did not mean to that's okay my yellow is just gonna be very close to the green I meant to do it at the side so I'd have room for my yellow what a dope Okay, again, looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't really matter that I'm a dope. It works good. This is why I like cards. So I can be chatting, enjoying myself, having made a terrible mistake, and it doesn't really matter. Um, so I should probably measure my piece before I cut this, don't you think? But I'm going to just put this aside because I don't really trust myself. I, first of all, want to do the the flirty flamingo base that's going to go right on top of this um, and I'm going to just use my my cutting board to measure to see what what I've got I've got five and an eighth and four and a quarter okay so I want it to go in oh like half an inch so in hmm, yes okay so we will go at um we will go at four, yeah, I guess not a half an inch. We'll go, we'll go a quarter inch that way and we'll do this at four. And I really only need to do part of it because I am not gonna use this whole piece that way. And then, since it was five and an eighth, so let me flip it. Five and an eighth, so we want it to be more like four and I guess this would be seven eighths. I'm not really sure with my math. It, if I was counting the sixteenths, it would be fourteen sixteenths. That's not <laughs> that's not a, an accurate fraction. So I'm gonna go just a tiny bit smaller just to make sure that I've got it small enough. And now let's see what I did. If I flubbed it, I can always fix it. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm going to stick with that. Now this one is gonna be on a dimensional on this card, but before I do that, I want to put the little yellow backing paper, and I'm using the Brights DSP, the little yellow dots. I love this DSP. It goes with all kinds of really cute things, and I just need a smaller smidgen than that. So we'll get out this cutting board again, and I'm gonna remind myself of what my measurements were. So for this yellow, I think we are gonna go just a hair over four and a half. Okay, so just a little bit over that four and a half spot. And it is going to need to be three and three quarters this way. No, yeah, three and three quarters. I hope that's not too small. It's, it's looking small to me. It always does though, so I'm sure it's fine. And yeah, perfect. Okay, so now that we have that, now I need to figure out what size I want this. And actually this one's gonna be like catter, catter wonky on my card. So I, I don't even really need, I'll measure the other one when I get to that part because um, 
I just want to, I'm going to rubber cement this right onto my Flirty Flamingo cardstock. You guys with your, your zip zip tape and then you get it on perfect. You are so good. I don't know how you do it. I have to be able to um, shift my paper around. I can't just stick it down. It never goes where I want it to. So I like to have plenty of time to adjust like even now if I had to I could peel it off and try it again and believe me I have had to before and as you're watching me you're thinking yeah I, I believe you I believe you okay so this piece is oh let's get the <laughs> wow okay the, yes this is the size I want so um or side three and so I'm going to do three and a quarter, three and a quarter by about three and three quarters. All right, three and three quarters. I better trim off my ends first. So I actually am going to save all of my extra of this um, pattern because it is really pretty so three and three quarters oh maybe a hair longer and what did I say did I say three I don't remember I'll have to measure it again oh let's get the right side on I never do oh I'm glad I measured uh, three and a, not quite a half a little bit less than a half Three and a half. It actually takes up quite a bit, but I've got a little tiny piece, little tiny, tiny piece that I will use later for something else. Um, and I, I want it, it's kind of big, but I want it to be big because I really like the pattern. I want to be able to see it around all this other stuff. And now I need to cut out a um, little piece of this, and this look seems big. Wow, that's gonna cover my, a whole lot of my, let me get out a smaller piece. I'm gonna downsize this a little bit. Let's grab out one of these other rectangles. This one's smaller, but I'm going to use it instead. My cupcake might not show all the way, but I don't care because a lot of the put cupcake is just this little shadow anyway. And this is going to be done in this lemon lime twist cardstock. And I'm gonna clear off some of my scraps and run this through my big shot. I'm actually gonna just run it down here I know you're probably wondering what the heck she's doing, but actually I am just running <laughs> this through down on the floor down here really quick so that I could get it done quickly and not mess with my camera. And now that's done right there. And now we can do the stamping part. I'm just gonna use this little piece and I better put my thinlet away. If I don't put my, or framelit, I better put the framelit away. If I don't, I will lose it for sure. And um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my stamps. There they are. Okay, it's a cute little cupcake. Now, it's really small, but oh boy, it's full of really wonderful things. I love these sayings. The sprinkled with love, celebrate your day, sweet wishes. This is perfect for me. I can use this for all kinds of things. So we're going to use this little frosting piece, and we're going to use the um, actual paper cupcake part. Um, I, I did put... I use the little bit underneath that you can do, you know, you could just do this little, it's supposed to, to me, it looks like the actual um, cupcake, the cake part of your cupcake. So I did it with um, some kind of a brown, but I'm not sure that I really like that. I'm gonna start with the lemon lime is the, the paper, the little paper in the shadow. Okay, we just got that stamped, and I can put my green away, thankfully. We'll wipe that off with my little chamois. Stick 
that back. Oops, let's keep it back on there so I don't lose it. And then the frosting is, oh, I don't want to do my frosting yet. I actually want to do this part first. And, hmm, you know what? I am going to use, instead of my crumb cake and all, I don't want too bright of lemon. Daffodil Delight. We're going for the butter cake kind of look here. Let's see what happens when I do this. I'm probably going to hate it. Let me do a sample. See what that color is going to look like. Ah, I, I'm going to like this. I like butter. I hope anyone watching doesn't think that all I do is eat, because I actually don't. But I do love to eat, and butter is good. My husband, when we first got married, had a big argument about... What, what was better, butter or margarine. Uh, my mother grew, you know, growing up, we always had a particular brand of margarine, which I won't mention. And he, his family bought all store-bought, you know, store brand stuff. And, um, you know, <laughs> store brands are fine. I mostly buy store brands, but they aren't always the best. And when I was first married, I didn't really know. I just assumed my mother knew everything, so I did what she did. And then we later had an argument about, I like butter better anyway. And then later they said butter was actually better for you than, <laughs> which I don't know. Every time they come up with some new scientific belief, I'm skeptical anyway. I got it over a little too far, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. And then uh, the sprinkles. Yum, yum. So everything that I've ever had that was made with margarine versus butter, I think I've always preferred the butter. So I'm going to stick with my preferring butter. My mother really didn't use butter, but I like the taste of butter. All right. So we're going with butter. The sprinkles are really cute. I wanted them to really show um, bright. So lovely lipstick, although I think of red when I think of lipstick. This is a very vivid pink. It's not magenta, but it still is a very bright pink. So there are my little sprink. Oh, I flubbed again, but that's okay. Ta! Ah, my goodness. This is what happens when you're in a rush. You do these things. My sprinkle got some water or something on it probably and smushed. They do have framelits, I think, to cut these out. Do they have framelits? No, I don't know if I have them, so they must, maybe they don't. I've seen a bunch of them cut out, so maybe people are doing a lot of fussy cutting out. I don't know. But anyhow, so this is going to be cut pretty close because it's going to have to go like, you know, like this on there. So I am going to move some of my belongings so I can bring out this cutting board again. And my... Let's see approximately what my dimensions were. Three by two and a half. So we're gonna do the three first of all, cause I need to make sure that I don't get too close to the top. I wanna save enough room on that bottom too. Okay, so there's my three. And then two and a half would be right there. So that's not bad. Very nice. Okay. And then where is my little label? Oh, there you are. Okay. So in your, your sweet, your, um, Oh, what is it? Sweetest things. It's the sweetest things. It's all the candy, you know, all these little candy jars. And this stamp set, the sweetest thing one, there's this sweet little label. It is cute. So I'm using this label quite a bit. I'm going to use this with the word sweet wishes 
that is in this Hello Cupcake. So the Sweet Wishes goes really nicely with um, the candy, obviously, but I really like it also with with any any cakey thing. And I want the point up. I'm not sure if the point's supposed to be up, but I just happen to like having it up. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble. So this goes on the base card with your dimensionals. Okay, you can just stick those on there. I don't need a lot. They stick really well. It's just the peeling them up that's the tricky bit. Peeling up that backing. And then when you're, uh, my card's opening to the side. I do check that before I ever put, <laughs> put this down because um, I don't know how many times I've had to cut the whole card apart and then just put the whole thing together again onto another base card because I've attached everything the wrong direction and had it opening the wrong way. And then... Um, this is going to go on here like this. Now, it's looking very long, so I'm going to trim it a little bit, I believe, because, well, it looks a lot longer. Isn't that funny? I know my card dimensions ended up being smaller, but it seems like they're much smaller. So we're going to take a bit off of both sides. And I think my plaid, when I cut it, I got it a little tiny bit crooked, as you can see, I did. So I, I'm gonna try to even up my plaid a bit. Oops, I think I just made it worse, oh well. We'll cut that side off. Maybe I will give up on trying to even it out. Okay, I have a piece of crooked plaid, and that's a more like the size I want. So we're gonna put, um, we're gonna actually just rubber cement this one down. I don't want it to go too puffing up too high. If you get so many dimensionals on there, it's gonna be so high that I won't be able to get it into my card. And actually I want it to go like this. And then my little rectangular thing though is going to have to have a couple of dimensionals on it. We'll just put three down the middle. My goodness, it's hard to stick, get those sticky backs up. Okay, that's gonna go like that. And then my little cupcake's gonna go there. I think I want to trim off a tiny bit of the top. Again, because my card dimensions ended up being just slightly different, I'm just trimming it to make it fit what I have. I'm not, you know, it's not like it matters that much, does it? And I, I kind of want it to be like that. It's sort of, because there's so many things crooked on there, I can actually put my cupcake fairly straight and it's still gonna look more casual. Like I didn't, um, I really like to go with the <laughs> crooked look because frankly, my sense of uh, balance, I think might be, I don't know, maybe I'm off, I don't know. It looks good for me when it's off. So now I want to put this on here, but I've got, I've got one, two layers of dimensionals, which is, this is where I want to stick it. I, I want to put it here. I'm going to put a little bit of, um, actually, let me grab a piece of tape. This is one time I'm probably going to use some tape. And, um, and we'll put some tape on that bottom, okay? Just a tiny bit. And then we will put two dimensionals up here just to get the height that we need because we've got two dimensionals worth of height to to find there so i just peeled off that backing and i'm going to stick another dimensional right on top of it and then that'll give me my my double dimensional height and then i've got my tape under that piece so that's going to stick good there and there and then the only thing oops I turned my light off when i was reaching for my little 
sparklies. These are little sparkly gems. I love these, they're cute. So we're gonna use a green one right there and a pink one over here somewhere. I did have it on the green, which was showing better because my card is slightly bigger, you can see in my original one. So I'm gonna have to put my pink one over here, I guess. So I'm gonna use uh, my more medium sized one because I'm not really getting the placement I wanted, but it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm going to be happy with it. Next time I do it though, I'm going to do it the right size. And I am finished. So anyhow, I hope you shared, I should put a thing in the middle and I will, but I'll do that later. And this would be great for birthdays or whatever, you know, all kinds of things. So I'm gonna swi switch us back up and remind you to shop, shop, shop. We only have, um, we have, uh, you know, just a little more than 31 days of celebration. This is the best time to buy your stuff. You get all kinds of freebies when you buy things. For every $50, you get a stamp set or um, ribbon or other stuff. I kind of forget what's in there. Oh, there's some really nice paper. Oh my goodness, I love that paper. The Painted Seasons paper. Get it. It's good. <laughs> you, and come to my class Friday and Saturday. I hope you have a great day and that you are not getting any snow and hopefully your rain dries up too if you are having that and you're ready for spring. I am. We'll see you later. Bye.